Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today I'm bringing to you guys a summer lookbook and this is gonna be a little more different, a little more different. So this video is gonna be a little different than a lot of the lookbooks that I've done in the past. I wanna do something more of a like how to style video. So this one's gonna be a little bit more informational. This is more about like how to put together the outfits. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and link all the pieces that I talk about down in the description box, as well as give you guys some like cheaper alternatives as well so I hope you guys find this helpful and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram yet my username is just Christine Leaves for ease and I'm actually much more active on there and I'm always responding to DMs and comments and without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the video I don't know if you guys can see but I kind of have like a breakout on my forehead right now but it literally was from over the weekend I was swimming in the lake and some people said it was like a rash so I actually did some research and found out it's called swimmers itch so I'm planning on doing a whole video about like my forehead situation about dermatitis which I actually get when I shower in hard water and then this is something different which is like from swimming in dirty lake water. So I'm gonna do a full video on that, which will be up next week. So if you guys suffer from the same thing, or if you're just curious to see like how I made this all go away, stay tuned for that video. Anyways, enough about the chatting. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So I kind of just wanted to do like a how to style video on just how to be stylish in the summer, especially when it gets really, really warm where you live. Back in Seattle, it doesn't get as hot as it does here in LA. So I might dress a little bit differently. So I provided a lot of different options depending on like how hot it is in your area. Some basic tips that I have is to don't overthink your outfits. Um, a lot of the times when I first started kind of, you know, trying to up my style fashion game, I didn't want to wear like a basic t-shirt all the time. I kind of wanted to wear different blouses, different tanks and bodysuits. But you can't underestimate the power of like a good logo tee. You can pair it with so many different things. You can pair it with biker shorts a skirt, you can pair it with denim shorts, and it all just depends on how you wear it. You can wear basic outfits and still look stylish. You just kind of have to accessorize, kind of wear different shoes with it to kind of elevate the outfit a little bit. And that kind of leads into tip number two, which is to accessorize. As you guys know, I'm always wearing necklaces and I just feel like necklaces always take up my like plain white t-shirts or any other plain top that I'm wearing up a notch. I love wearing bracelets. I always have a little scrunchie on which kind of helps to elevate it a little bit and I do have a full video on like all my favorite necklaces and where I get everything so I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner. This one is actually a new one. I actually picked up this charm from the Pasadena flea market which is like a big big flea market that we have here in Los Angeles and then I had this chain and kind of just put it on there so I layered my necklaces like that but all these other chains I talked about in my other video I also try to match my purses with my outfits as well and I am planning on doing like a top five purse video soon so stay tuned for that another tip that I have is to pair different shoes with it so depending on the look that you want to put together the outfits gonna completely change depending on what shoes I wear so I can pair it with like chunky sneakers for a more like street style casual outfit fit or I could pair it with some like really strappy kitten heels and that kind of elevates it and makes it a little bit more chic and put together so you kind of can change up what you're wearing just by the shoes how you do your hair and how you accessorize and my fourth tip before we go into some of the outfits is to play with proportions so if I was wearing like some baggy paper bag shorts I might want to pair it with like a crop tighter top or vice versa if I'm wearing like biker shorts or some denim shorts that are a little bit more fitted I might want to wear something a little bit more loose and overflowing on top. I just find that playing with the proportions gives you the most elevated, sophisticated look, you know what I mean? Like most of the time when I was younger, a lot of the outfits I wore in the summer were like tight denim shorts, tight tube top. Like I wouldn't really play with proportions as much. So when you wanna elevate your outfit, I would just kind of play around with whatever proportions you like best. Like for me, I love the look of baggy pants and a tighter top. I find that it makes my legs look super long, makes me look really slim, and so that's just something that I really like. So those are the four tips that I have, and let's go ahead and get into some of my favorite type of outfits. So one outfit that I really love to wear in the summer is a skirt and a t-shirt. I have this silk skirt from Aritzia that I absolutely love. It's kind of like a midi length, and I've been really into midi length skirts lately. I just find that they pair with so many different types of shoes. I would pair the skirt with with kind of just like a plain white tee or if you have a logo tee I think that would look really cute too if you just like knot it in the front but I have this crop top here from Zara that I picked up I think in the spring 
and I really like it. It's just like a simple crop top and I would actually tuck this underneath so it just looks like a plain crop top and so you have a little bit of the midriff showing and I would pair it with some chunky sneakers. And then I have these sneakers here from Adidas that are the young ones. I'm obsessed with these. I don't think I've talked about these on my channel. I love these shoes. It's such a good beige color and I just find that like kind of the monochromatic look is really, really stylish and it's just an easy way to kind of pair different colors with each other. This is kind of playing with the proportions because you kind of have like the looser, a little bit of a longer bottom and then I paired it with like a tighter crop top so that way we are kind of playing with the proportions and then adding the sneakers just kind of makes the outfit a little bit more casual. Another alternative to that is a tighter skirt. So I have the skirt here from Topshop that I picked up in my Mango and Nordstrom Spring Haul. I love the skirt. I actually picked it up in my actual size because the skirt that I ordered in that video was a little bit too small. It's kind of like a military utilitarian. It's like a utility skirt and I just love the way that it looks but the skirt is a little bit tighter so I would want to pair it with something a little bit more baggier up top. So I have this shirt here that I picked up from a flea market. It's actually a little Porsche tee and I love this top. I love the colors that it has as well. It kind of matches. So since the skirt has a belt, I think I would probably just tuck it in and that way you kind of have the play with proportions. You have a tighter, shorter bottom and then kind of a baggier overflowing tee. Another outfit that I really like is like an oversized t-shirt and biker shorts and I have these biker shorts here from Fabletics actually these are so fire and I love these because they fit me so well they're also really high-waisted um, and they have pockets and a cute little mesh detail I actually wore these to Disneyland and so many of you guys complimented me on my outfit and it was at the same time very very comfortable if it gets hot where you guys live biker shorts and an oversized t-shirt is like the best outfit because you can sweat in it but you're still comfortable the oversized t-shirt is nice and flowy so you get that like ventilation which is really nice that's just kind of a cool way to play with proportions but still be really really comfortable at the same time. So. Another outfit that I like to wear in the summer is a good romper or dress and so I have a couple different options here that I can show you. So I have this romper here from BB Dakota that I really really love and the design is just so cute. My favorite part is the little shoulder pad situations, the what is this called? I love this romper because it just makes you look so like chic and cute. This is a really great piece for events because especially in LA when it gets super super hot I wore this on a day when it was like 95 degrees and I was fine. Rompers are really great because they're not like super super tight. You get a little bit of looseness and a lot of the times they're kind of a shorter cut as well but it gives you that comfortability. So I love a good romper for the summer and this one by Baby Dakota is a good one. I also have this dress here from Lulu's and I am uploading a Lulu's haul soon so stay tuned for that but Love this dress, it's just so beautiful and the white color is so stunning and sophisticated. Um, there's also like really cute little details and I love pairing a dress with some good booties. Especially in the summer, I feel like that's kind of a really different thing to pair with a dress. These are the booties that I paired with that dress and I love these booties. I mentioned these in my Zara haul video and I'll go ahead and link them down below if they're still available. And so I love pairing like a good brown booty with a dress, especially in the summer because it's such a different outfit, you know? Another dress that I really like is this one from Aritzia. I wore this in my Laguna Beach photo when I went to VidCon with Ginny. I got so many compliments on this dress. The only thing I will say is it does wrinkle really easily. Like I've had this hanging and it's wrinkled like this. So you do have to steam it and it is a little bit high maintenance but it is so striking on. I love how thin the straps are so you kind of have to wear like a strapless bra with it but the color is really cute and the length is really great as well and so I love wearing dresses like this in the summer especially if it gets really hot where you live because it's like an easy thing to throw on you're not overheating and then when it gets a little bit cooler at night you can kind of just throw over a light sweater or a denim jacket and you're good to go another outfit that I really like this one is a little bit more basic so you can probably find things in your closet that you can outfit together for this and so I have these a goldie denim shorts that I picked up from Lulu's I love these I think these are totally worth your money I've worn these like all summer long they're high-waisted and really tight on me so I would actually pair with that this camisole that I have from Aritzia. I love this tank top. I've mentioned it in my Aritzia Essentials video. The little sleeves are really nice and dainty so you get like a really pretty 
put together look. Since I kind of want to make my legs look long, I would actually tuck this into my denim shorts and it just makes my legs look extra long. It makes my waist look like it starts a little bit higher up. I would tuck this into the denim shorts and you have a really easy outfit. And so if I wanted something a little bit more casual, I would actually pair Vans with that. But if I wanted something a little bit more elevated, I would pair it with some like nude chunk heels or something like that. If it's a little bit cooler where you live, I love the look of a blazer layered over top of a good summer outfit as well. I have this blazer here from Everlane that I've styled in so many office wear lookbook videos. I love this blazer. It's such a great piece and the, it's like the perfect oversized fit as well. So I feel like throwing that over a kind of simple outfit kind of just takes it up a notch and I just love the way that that outfit looks. I have so many button ups that I wear to the office and stuff like that. You can even just throw a button up over top. I just think that it makes it look a little bit more cooler and sophisticated. And if it's too hot where you live, just wear the denim shorts and the camisole. Okay, finally, before my camera dies, um, my last outfit that I want to talk about is is paperback shorts and a crop top. These shorts have been so in lately and I picked these up from Lulu's. I love these, the color is perfect and you kind of have this waistline. I love these because they are a little bit baggier and high-waisted so they're really really comfortable as well which is nice. Since those shorts are really high-waisted and baggy I would pair with that something cropped and tighter. That way we are kind of playing with the proportions. This is actually a swim top from Zaffle and it's an off-the-shoulder top and I love the way that this looks but if you don't have a top like this even a white bralette or some type of like crop white top I think would look really cute with these shorts and I just love playing with the proportions since we have like the baggier high-waisted shorts pairing it with a crop tight top just looks so fashionable another top that you could pair with the shorts is a tube top I have this tube top here from Brandy Melville that I've had since ever it's a little bit different than like the standard denim shorts and tube top just because the shorts are a little bit more interesting they are a little bit baggier and so it kind of gives gives you like elevated look. I feel like I'm repeating the same descriptions for everything. So anyways, that is all the outfits that I put together and the tips that I have for how to be fashionable in the summer. I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you did, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up before you go. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next and I'll go ahead and leave the makeup that I'm wearing down in the description box as well. If I forget, remind me please down in the comments. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.